Hello friends, this is Normal here for Technique and in this video we are going to share some of the basic tips and tricks you can try out with the Lenovo K8 Note. So unlike our previous Lenovo devices, the Lenovo K8 Note comes with a stock Android. That means there are no customization or uh, changes to the stock UI. So this comes uh, with the stock UI. And uh, we would like to uh, remind our viewers that there aren't any major tips and tricks or hidden features included in this UI. Uh, these are some basic tips you can try out on this device. So nothing hidden in this device because it's stock Android and no additional features included apart from the few basic options. So without any further delay, let's get started with the tips and tricks on the Lenovo K8 Note. So first step, let's go to the home screen. If you use a two finger swipe, you can see there are three options, wallpapers, widgets and settings. So if you go to the settings, you have two options, allow home screen rotation when phone is rotated. So that is one useful option. Uh, what you can do is you can turn on the, uh, I mean, uh, the portrait mode to landscape mode uh, whenever the home screen is rotated. So once you have enabled this, if you just uh, tilt the display, you can see this will also get tilted. So that's the screen rotation feature uh, in the home screen. So that's one option. Then uh, other option is swipe to show the assistant. So uh, you can uh, uh, you can select either uh, if you want to show Google app or if you don't want any app to show uh, when you are uh, swiping from the uh, left side of the home screen. So we'll just show you right now it's uh, selected as Google app. So if you just swipe here, you can see this is Google app. So if you want to delete that uh, or uh, remove that, you can just go here, swipe to show us then select none. And uh, now if you just swipe, you won't get any option. So that's another uh, feature. Then uh, if you go to the notification center, you can uh, see uh, this small icon to edit. So you can uh, see the edit icon on the top. So click this edit icon and you can just drag and rearrange the options. So whichever options you want and some of the options are hidden or in the second screen. So you can uh, just rearrange uh, the, uh, the notification center quick toggles and uh, then uh, uh, change it accordingly. Then uh, you also can uh, reset it to default settings anytime you want. Then uh, next option is to enable the uh, system UI tuner. So remember these are uh, stock Android uh, options not uh, specifically for Lenovo K8 node. So we just press and hold uh, this gear icon on the top. Just press and hold for a couple of seconds and you get a uh, haptic feedback. Just release that you can see congrats system UI tuner has been added to settings. So now uh, just scroll down. You can get system UI tuner. So th these are some uh, additional features, but they are uh, they are they are not uh, available by default. You need to enable it. So you can see give some extra ways to tweak and customize the Android user interface. These are experimental features that might break or disappear in future. So proceed with caution. So got it. And uh, now here we have the state uh, status bar. So right now the status bar shows Bluetooth, uh, uh, Wi-Fi, SIM bar, and then battery and uh, the clock. So which all you want to show you can just tune it from here so these are the options available auto rotate screen headset all those things are included so whichever you want to show up in the status bar whenever it is enabled you can select it from here now anytime if you want to delete the system ui tuner you can just go here and plus and hold it again and you can see remove system ui tuner from the settings and stop using all the additional features so click remove and that will be removed from the settings option now let's go to the display settings. So here there are a couple of interesting options. One is the color mode. So you can uh, change the colors to standard colors or if you want uh, some vibrant colors for the display, you can change it. But there is no option to manually select uh, the warmer or colder colors. But you can uh, go from standard to vibrant colors. So that means the colors will be slightly more richer than the standard colors. Next option is uh, the VR glass support. So if you are using uh, uh, VR glasses uh, on this device, you, you can uh, see that there is an option to enable VR uh, split screen mode. And uh, what it does is uh, just select this. You can see VR split screen mode is enabled. And uh, to enable uh, uh, the VR mode from any app, just press and hold the power button. And you can see VR split screen mode. Uh, so just select this and you can see it will be two screens uh, for VR content. And uh, that's how you can enable it. So just select this and it will be disabled. So for that, uh, you need to first enable the option here. So VR split screen glasses can be turned on using the power button. Next step, double tap on the screen. So double tap on the screen uh, to turn on the screen. Uh, this, this is a quite useful feature. Just turn it on and uh, come back here. This will turn on the display. So that's the uh, double tap to wake up uh, option on the Lenovo K8 Note. 
Now going down you can see there is a music key option available. So music key is a dedicated key on this device you can see this is the music key available so this is the dedicated music functionality for audio lovers. So by default when you are playing uh, I mean using an app for music playback uh, these are the options long press for play button double click uh, next triple click for the previous so these are the predefined options. Now if you are not using a uh, music playback uh, I mean uh, app you can use the uh, long press of the music key for a, any additional function so these are the functions available you can start an app you can do a screenshot you can start a camera you can on the flashlight or play or pause music so if you select camera what it does is uh, if you just press the uh, music key it will open uh, the camera app so similarly i can also select uh, a start flashlight so if i just press and hold you can see flashlight is enabled so that's how uh, you can uh, configure the long press of the music key so at, at a time only one option can be selected it can also be an app uh, you can just select it you can click here from the app list you can uh, select the app which you want to open so that's another useful feature with the music key now if you go to the camera app you can take uh, selfies or camera shots using the uh, uh, the fingerprint scanner so we'll just demo it for you so you can see here when I'm touching on the fingerprint scanner, I can take photos. So that's uh, something really useful. So this is uh, uh, by default available and you can use the fingerprint scanner to capture images uh, using the uh, camera. Now another option is to take screenshots. So, so taking a screenshot is uh, very simple. All you need to do is uh, press and hold uh, uh, the power uh, button and the volume down button. So just press and hold and uh, you have taken the screenshot. Now let's uh, go to another useful app on this device so that's the Dolby Atmos app. So this is one really useful feature for music lovers. So there are different modes available you can see dynamic movie, music, game, voice mode and uh, you can set the equalizer here. You can enhance uh, uh, the volumes uh, and uh, you can set the graphic equalizer and uh, get uh, rich detailed audio delivered uh, whenever you are using uh, the Dolby Atmos app. So you can just turn it on and turn it off from here or if you go to the uh, notification and cube toggles there is an option to turn on the Dolby Atmos mode. So these are some of the basic tips and tricks you can try out on the Lenovo K8 Note with Android 7.1.1 and uh, the stock UI. So hope this video is useful. So if you have the Lenovo K8 Note, do try out these basic features and uh, tricks uh, to get the best out of your device. So that's all guys. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you in our next video. Have a great day.